so we know that water is stored in those mountains there and it flows out in a stream in Haiku Valley and also a stream in the Oleka'a Valley. And then it comes down into the wetland. What do we want to know about water? So in Heia, we don't know if the water is flowing fast or if it's flowing slowly. And we don't know what's in the water. We want to know if the water contains sediment that's going to harm the downstream communities. How are you going to find that out? We're going to take a lot of water samples by coring underground for groundwater. We're going to take water samples to see what's in them, like the nutrients and all the parameters that's in the water. Are you going to use stable isotopes? <gasps> I think so. We're going to use tools to measure groundwater. So Shimi, what kind of data products will we have from this project? So we're going to amass a lot of data, but a lot of the resource managers that work in this area don't even know how to access them. And in the NERS, we have the CDMO, where all of our swamp water quality data goes. There's the USGS stream gauge. There's the NOAA tide gauge. And all of those are different websites. So we want to try to consolidate them all into one data stream. So data stream? data stream. Hopefully, we're thinking that you can click one button and then get to all the data. How are you going to communicate all that data to these different end users? We're going to have workshops with all kinds of people who work in Kaia with bike. We're going to have people from the government, people that steward our landscapes all the time. We're going to have teachers. We're going to have community members. It's going to be a really fun time and we're going to really enjoy ourselves. This project addresses why or fresh water as a specific monitoring need that's identified through community and stakeholder engagement. In Heia, Native Hawaiian communities held by and its life-giving power as sacred and sustainably managed water to establish food security on the most remote islands on earth. So in Heia Nur, century of land use and socioeconomic change altered groundwater recharge, storage and transport and reduced surface flows. So to bring back this abundance in Heia, community partners are engaging in indigenous resource management practices, removing invasive species, and building agroecological systems with its waterways. So in order to do this, we need more bai.